Coming up on this edition of the show, Alan Fraley talks about Noble County tourism. In fact, Alan joins me for two segments today. He's got so much to talk about. And Guernsey County Game Warden Roby Williams has some uh, deer season numbers and a whole lot more. It's all ahead on this edition of Talk of the Town. From the U.S. Bank Studios, it's Talk of the Town with Perry Baranich. Welcome to another brand new edition of Talk of the Town. We're coming to you, as always, from the U.S. Bank Studio in beautiful downtown Cambridge as we're taping this show today, 13 days until Christmas. Unbelievable. Yay! Alan, Alan Fraley yay. says, <laughs> yay! Bring it on! Bring it on! <laughs> Alan Fraley, director of the Noble County Chamber of Commerce and Tourism Bureau. And, and oh, I'm it's like good to be you. back. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm excited about Christmas. I'm looking forward to it. We we got a little snow. A little I am skiffed. Yeah. <laughs> definitely in the spirit. We got opening shopping weekend behind us, and now it's a rush to Christmas Eve, and mm -hmm. then all of the after Christmas sales mm -hmm. start. Mm -hmm. And as far as the commerce and mm -hmm. the business is concerned, this is the time of year we wrap up everything, yeah. and we know exactly where we're at. Let's recap a little bit. Sure. Um, local shopping. Let's talk about uh, how did Small Business Saturday go for you guys? Small Business Saturday went very well down south. I've talked to the counterparts up here. You had a, we had great weather. Mm -hmm. Now remember, Noble County mm -hmm. does the uh, Wind Up Wednesday, mm -hmm. which really had a jump this year. Um, a lot of the businesses did more than just the morning hours. Mm -hmm. They went all day on Wednesday. So if you were still out and you weren't leaving town early, you could do some shopping. You could get some of those gifts early, get them tucked away, out of the way, and be done before Thanksgiving started. Now, mm -hmm. When you got to Saturday, I just got a report the other day, email from American Express and FedEx. Okay. They had a consumer survey that went out on Monday after Saturday's shopping. Okay. 102 million people wow. in the survey wow. shopped local on Saturday in America. Great numbers. And that and that is just that's promising. That's you know when you are looking at a small area like ours we compared mm -hmm. to the larger, you mm -hmm. know, the three C's, mm -hmm. Cincinnati, Columbus, and Cleveland. Yeah. And you say these people chose to stay local. These people decided I and you know I'm gonna go here. I'm gonna go here every time. Support your neighbors. Yeah, Where do exactly. your neighbors work? They work local. They work local. All and of and yeah. all of our retail, all of our local retail businesses, this is the time of year. If you can get it local, do all of us the favor. Mm -hmm. Really? Yep. And, and you know, you, you can get pretty much everything you need local. You, may, you can't get sure. everything, sure. but pretty much, and at competitive prices, or sometimes, right. surprisingly, even right. better prices. Right. You can get local. And, again, I'll always go back to... A couple of those examples in my life where the little extra you pay now mm -hmm. to keep the local business open mm -hmm. returns dividends later. Oh, yeah. Because oh, yeah. those are the people that you see in other places. Right. And those you, are the people you see in your other social outings. Right. And, your, your, and your town is going to continue, or your county is going to continue to exist. Absolutely. Well, and know? look at the new businesses just in the last 10 mm -hmm. years. We mm -hmm. did something with the Dickens. We, we mm -hmm. expanded the Dickens. Now mm -hmm. we lit up mm -hmm. the courthouse. Mm -hmm. Real quick, mm -hmm. my sister went with her family on a red eye to New York City to go sightseeing and a little shopping. Okay. Saks Fifth Avenue. They've put up this massive display on the side in New York City of this lighted fake building that goes to music. Yeah. My whole family, they're laughing at Saks Fifth Avenue because none of those people have <laughs> yeah. seen our courthouse. Exactly yeah, right. You want to know yeah. what, what this really is supposed to look like? Yeah. You know, come over right. here to southeastern Ohio. Right. And the fact, she videotaped it. Did and she really? Looking, yeah, Sunday after church, we're together for a meal, and I'm watching this video, <laughs> and I'm going, okay, they're trying real hard. Yeah. That's really cool. Yeah. But that's not us. Yeah. We've got the building. It's right there. It's and right it's, here, uh, and, and we have all this other local flavor that goes into it. She did a, a quick scan. There must have been 10,000 people crammed into the street trying to watch a light display. Yeah, I wasn't one of them. No, neither no, was I. No, no. <laughs> but back to shopping local, that's the whole point. Sure. It's a culture. Yeah. It's family. It's neighbor. It's yeah. who we are. It's what we do. It's getting out and seeing people because social media is a beautiful thing, but it can only do so much. Yeah. There's no warmth. 
There's no, how are your kids doing? Yeah. There's none of that conversation. Yeah. And uh, just one more thing, throw in there, uh, the stress factor shopping in New York or the stress factor <laughs> shopping local here, uh, uh, no brainer. Well, I'm not <laughs> sleeping on a bus 12 hours there and 12 hours back either. Uh, what else you want to talk about? I know we've got a couple minutes in this segment. You're going to come back and join me for the next yep. segment. So yep. where do you want to go now? Well, one of the things we've talked about retail. Mm -hmm. Now, the Chamber of Commerce is both in Guernsey and Noble County. Mm -hmm. We're basically looking at, we have non-retail. Like, what do you do about the lady that owns the cement company? Yeah, the guy that true. owns the roofing company. True. Once, once we get into this shopping local, it also goes into the service side of things. Mm -hmm. Are you consciously looking at the service industry? Mm -hmm. Where do you get your gas? Where do you get your roof? Where do you get your windows replaced? Sure. Do you call a local plumber? Mm -hmm. Where do sure. you shop for maybe like the service technician for your refrigerator that breaks? Your carpeting, your flooring, all of those all things. All of yeah. those things. Those are also neighbors. Mm -hmm. Those are also people who are living and working and, and staying in our community. Mm -hmm. And so when, like a Chamber of Commerce person, when I'm sitting here saying shop local, I'm also saying look at it as a lifestyle. Are you really supporting everything that's going on in your community? Yeah, that's a great point. Those are point. the type of things that, that is I'm great. At. Those are things that we don't, uh, we've got less than a minute, that we don't necessarily think of when right. we're thinking about right. retail, the non retail right. side of the it. The non retail side of all of the commerce that goes on in our area. Well, and you also, unlike the big box stores or chain stores, you build a rapport yes. with somebody locally. When I walk in, let's be honest, when I walk into Orm Hardware, when I walk into Caldwell Lumber, yeah. wherever I'm at yeah. with my kids, I know who's going to be there. Exactly. I know the person I'm going to see, yeah. and I smile and ask them a question, and I know they're going to say, right over there. It's all about shopping locally. We're going to be back. Uh, you, you got time to stick? With I got time to stick. Well, I know you've got a whole book full of stuff. I there, might so find something to talk about. We'll be back with Alan <laughs> Fraley right after this on Talk of the Town. <laughs> Talk of the Town. We'll be right back. Learning Jungle on Main Street, formerly Main Street School Supply, is located in downtown Cambridge, just west of the courthouse on Wheeling Avenue. They have a huge selection full of educational resources and toys to teach, as well as entertain. They feature a large inventory of gifts for children of all ages, and you just have to check out their selection of stuffed animals, puppets, games, and so much more. The Learning Jungle on Main Street, downtown Cambridge, has layaway for your convenience and is the area's only specialty toy store. A world of knowledge is waiting for you at their front door. The Old Country Loft in Byesville is full of quality country primitives and a whole lot more. Ruth Dixon and her crew bring you the things you need to decorate your home with country charm and warmth. The Old Country Loft, corner of Main and Glass Avenue, Byesville. Cambridge is more than just a town. This is our home. Supporting downtown Cambridge means shopping at the places we love with the people we love. For the stuff we can't get anywhere else. Food that tastes like home. And personal service from people who know your name. The money we spend here will keep our town growing. Let's all shop small for our town. The home we love. And the uniqueness that makes Cambridge a, a great, great place to live, work, and play. Cambridge Classic Ford in downtown Cambridge prides themselves on offering the largest inventory and the best customer service in the area. Visit their lot and experience the Classic Difference. The Classic Difference provides customers a service above and beyond what you'll find anywhere else. Their service department, body shop, and parts department strive for the best service and pricing in southeastern Ohio. Stop by the lot and browse their large selection of new and pre-owned inventory, ask about easy financing, or schedule an oil change. That's Cambridge Classic Ford in downtown Cambridge. Stop by and experience the Classic Difference for yourself. Check out Talk of the Town on Facebook. Go to Facebook.com slash Talk of the Town Show and stay up to date. Welcome back and thanks for watching Talk of the Town. My guest is still Alan Fraley, the director of Noble County Chamber of Commerce and Tourism Bureau. And we're talking about all things shopping local and local tourism yep. and just keeping yep. your dollars locally. Um, you wanted to talk about, uh, you gave me, you threw out to me a book title. Yes. I what is that? I studied it in, in my graduate work. Um, I've never forgotten the title of the book, Crafting and Executing Your Strategy. Okay. And the whole premise of this is, 
are you always thinking about tomorrow? Okay. Now, everybody answers that question yes. Everybody answers the sure. question yes. Sure. But in the book, it wanted to start, do you really know where you're at today? Do you have good data on your operation today? Now, we can do this in families. We can do this in small businesses. Corporations have whole departments that do this mm -hmm. called marketing departments. Mm -hmm. sure. But it's the idea of always knowing where you're at today. Now, as we get to the end of the year, we should actually begin the process of a strategy for growth for tomorrow. Do you find a lot of people who, that do that? No. Okay. And let me tell you why small businesses struggle to do this is because when I wake up, if I'm a small business owner and I have to go into work today, I have a new set of issues I'm dealing with today that I might not be able to pull myself away as, as we say, mm -hmm. we all know what a drone is. Yeah. So if the drone is down here and we've got the camera right on what's going on and this is my world and this is how my employees get paid, because you know if an employee walks in today and works for you, they want paid next Friday. Sure they do. Of yeah. course they do. Mm -hmm. So it's hard to step away and raise that drone 500, 800, 1,000 feet yeah. and take a big picture of everything that surrounds you and then say, what is the data that I'm looking at and how can I make it work? So do you need outside help then? Sometimes you need outside help. What we have today is we have a lot of software programs oh, yeah. that now yeah. help you with the data. Yeah. The, the small businesses that are now starting to go to a, a point of sale service, which is the computer where you just run your cards through and you sign your name and you do all that everything that's done on that computer register mm -hmm. is now being recorded as data mm -hmm. how many widgets did you sell how mm -hmm. many which i think everybody knows this now walmart the cash registers are actually part of the software program yeah, sure. that does the ordering the next day. Exactly. So whatever is sold today becomes tomorrow's order right. for inventory control. And not every business can do that. Small no, business small cannot bi do that. No. That's why as we slowly adjust, we look forward, we have to have good data. Mm -hmm. Because if you don't know where you're going, mm -hmm. you're going to get there. Yeah, I'm still thinking about that one. You, you, I, I'll call you when I figured that one out. But I mean, well, no, wait a minute. It's of all deep, the, folks, of all the places I've been, this is one of them. Yeah, I mean, well, that's true. Yes, yeah, it is, but is it true. doesn't help me. What, what you, you, as a as a business owner, you really, unless you're a major manufacturer, uh, right. you can't rest on your laurels. Never, because every decision is important mm -hmm. to your tomorrow. Mm -hmm. Do you know I've got <clears throat> I've got two restaurants down in Noble County. Mm -hmm. One has 18 employees, one has 24 employees. Now mm -hmm. a lot of them are part-time because you're on your feet sure. and it's the nature of the business. Sure. That's almost 50 employees. Mm -hmm. 50 employees just in two small businesses mm -hmm. that have family ownership. Mm -hmm. And I'm going, look at all the paperwork. Look at all the human resources work. Sure. Look at all, and they don't have a, an HR department. Right. They don't have a marketing department. Right. And yet every decision that's made, they have to approve and then make it work. This is why knowing where you're at at mm -hmm. the end of this year mm -hmm. is helping all of us pick a better 2018 and then you take the steps to get to where you right. want to be absolutely in absolutely all right i think we've got like a minute and a half you wanted to touch on the uh, second state of the county well last year we had a noble county state of the county on february 1st and the newly elected individuals came in and we we got to talk to them the commissioner came in from government the mm -hmm. health commissioner was in for where we are with the opioid crisis mm -hmm. We had oil and gas speaker. We had a couple other economic development speakers come in. So the bottom line is we've, the chambers decided to do this again on February 1st because okay. it's still a, a weekday. Okay. Uh, more information will be coming out, but it's one of the things in Noble County that we're starting to say, this is something the chamber is doing for the public. We want to know how did 2017 wrap up and what are we looking for on 2018? Okay. Again, going back to creating and executing strategy. And if we know where we're at, it's a whole lot easier to plan on where we would like to be. Open to the public? Yes. Okay. Yep. 
yep. because the public yep. will want to know. More information. Okay. In closing, what's the phrase again that I'm supposed to be thinking about this weekend? If you don't know where you're going, you're liable to end up there. <laughs> uh, while you're out hunting deer, I'm yes. going to be thinking about that phrase. Alan Fraley, Director of Noble County Chamber of Commerce and Tourism Bureau. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. And Wish we'll you the best. And we'll see you after the first year. Absolutely. Hope you Thank have a you. wonderful holiday. I will. All right. We're going to be back with uh, Roby Williams right after this. The game warden? The game warden. Okay. He's after you. <laughs> <laughs> Right back with more Talk of the Town. Bundy Law Funeral Home has worked since 1924 to earn the confidence of the families they have served and continue their commitment to the community. They offer a complete range of quality services, from funerals to cremation, and honor all faiths and customs. The staff at Bundy Law understands you need to know all the available options to make the right decisions for your family. A price list is available upon request, and they invite your comparisons. You will make the right choice when you choose Bundy Law Funeral Home. Your one-stop shop for all things computer-related is ABC Technical Services. Whether it's designing a new website, website maintenance, PC repair, or over-the-phone tech support, ABC Technical Services has you covered. ABC Technical Services can set up a new network, install the latest antivirus software, and they even offer full video production and editing services, too. Give them a call at 740-432-5605 or visit them online at abctechnicalservices.com. A name you know, a name you trust. ABC Technical Services. U.S. Bank is the fifth largest bank in the country, and while being recognized nationally for their strength and stability, they continue to provide hometown service. At U.S. Bank, they provide a variety of products and services for your consumer and small business needs, such as free checking with internet banking, loans and lines of credit, and free financial planning services. At U.S. Bank, they're proud to support the growth and development of their communities by helping local business owners achieve success. For a show schedule of upcoming guests and to watch past episodes, go to yourradioplace.com. And you're watching Talk of the Town, coming to you as always from U.S. Bank Studio in beautiful downtown Cambridge. We hope you're having a great day today. Roby Williams is the Guernsey County Game Warden. He joins me now. This is the, the time of the year, man. Yep. This is deer season, all kind of other seasons converging right now, aren't they? It is. You know, and I was actually thinking before I come up here, I thought, you know, some of our seasons might be going out pretty soon. And really, the, we got through January for mm -hmm. most everything. So, mm -hmm. uh, and, and there's still a few uh, opening seasons coming up here uh, yet, to, yet to happen. I think most people are wanting to know, you know, where do we stand deer numbers? Yeah, you know, uh, and it, especially here in southeastern Ohio, as we've talked about before, we're in the, in the heartbeat of deer country. Mm -hmm. uh, a lot of activity. Had a pretty good week uh, for deer gun season. Our youth gun season finished up there a week or two before that. I've got some numbers to run through. But overall, it was a pretty good season. Um, Safety-wise, I know in the state of Ohio we had one fatality oh, okay. up in Ashtabula County, um, and then a couple other property damages and some self-inflicted stuff. But mm -hmm. uh, overall, again, a very safe season. Good. Um, Numbers-wise, you know, for me personally, I didn't see the number of hunters out there that I used to see. Mm -hmm. But as we've talked about in the past, deer season, deer hunting in Ohio has evolved. Um, into a lot of archery activity. Uh, a lot of guys are hunting that early November time mm -hmm. period. Sure. There's a lot of guys out on the first day of deer season and the Saturday of deer season. But uh, from what I have seen in, the, in, in my experience of, of our gun season now, it's after that first day, uh, the deer get hunkered down. They don't move a lot. Is that right? That's and the way they do it now. It does make it uh, a lot more challenging if you don't have people moving some deer and what around. about snow on the ground? Does it help? Oh, yeah, it helps a ton. Okay. ton. And, you know, this past week for our deer gun season, um, Weather-wise, was great if you wanted to sit outside because it wasn't real cold. Sure, but not real good for moving deer. Yeah, um, and, and and deer, you know, being active and stuff like that. So, um, hopefully, maybe this coming weekend we'll, we'll maybe, maybe see an increase and in activity. And it's the bonus weekend this weekend. It right? is. Yeah, our bonus gun weekend is this coming Saturday and Sunday, the 16th and 17th. Uh, 
everything applies that applied in our regular gun season. We just give them folks an additional two days, okay. extra, extra two days to have an opportunity to harvest deer. Uh, so did want to go back to our numbers. Okay, though, great. Briefly, um, in our gun season, we did harvest uh, 72,814 deer for this year statewide mm -hmm. in our in our gun season. Mm -hmm. And last year that compares to 66,000. So it was uh, 700. Up. Yeah, so we were up you know, a pretty significant mm -hmm. percentage. Here in Guernsey County, uh, we harvested 2,014 deer this year. Okay. And that compares to 1885 last year. Okay. In our regular gun so season. So it was way up. So, yeah, so we were up uh, several hundred deer in Guernsey County, and our youth season uh, was the same. Now, our, our youth season was down, um, and if you remember that uh, that youth gun weekend, it was pretty inclement weather. Yeah. It a lot was. of uh, pretty, pretty poor conditions, yeah. and that reflected in our harvest. Uh, we killed just under 5,000 deer statewide in our youth season, and last year we were just under 6,000. Okay. So darn near 20% down. Okay, but a lot of that was the weather. Yeah, it is. Okay. It is very weather dependent. And here locally in Guernsey County, we were at 155 for our youth season. Okay. And that compared to 197 last year. So okay. we're about so 25 the weather does down. factor into all it that. It does. It really does. So. What about uh, turkey? We wrapping that up, right? We did wrap up our fall turkey season this year. and. Uh, if we, if we go back in history a little bit, uh, you'll remember in the in the, um, the year of the cicadas, mm -hmm. we had a, a great hatch. It was up, yeah. And as right. a result, last year we had a great fall season. Okay. About um, about uh, 2,100 turkeys were harvested in our fall season last year. This year we were just over a thousand. So so that cut it in half. That really factored into it. And it, it did. It did uh, that cicada harvest or hatch. Yeah. Had a great impact on the number of, the, of turkeys. Okay. Uh, so uh, we were down significantly in our turkey in our turkey numbers uh, here in, in Guernsey County. We we checked in 31 turkeys for the fall, and uh, last year we had 79. So pretty significant decrease, but. Uh, Still a lot of birds out there and be looking forward to the fall season or spring season. So you mentioned that the uh, bonus gun weekend is this weekend and then we get into muzzleloader season? We do, yeah. I've uh, got to wait till the first of the year after New Year's, but that first full weekend uh, of January, which this year will be January uh, 6th, 7th, 8th, and 9th. So we'll hunt Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. Okay. Uh, that'll be our opportunity to hunt with muzzleloaders. Uh, just remember <clears throat> 38 caliber or larger muzzleloaders. I'm uh, loading rifles. Um, muzzle loading season has always been pretty popular. Mm -hmm. uh, guys, mm -hmm. if they got a, a, an extra tag to fill and they want to mm -hmm. try to finish up the season mm -hmm. on a high note, then you, you'll see them out there um, in muzzle loader season. And they will have some snow on the ground again then. What about uh, you had some do's and don'ts? I do. I want to talk just briefly about a couple of things that I, we see out there in the field. Uh, number one, uh, hunting without permission. Uh, had several complaints this year of folks being someplace they shouldn't be. Mm -hmm. um, Make sure before you go to the field, and this should be a standard rule if you're a hunter, you know, make sure you're contacting those landowners mm -hmm. and getting permission uh, before you go out there. You know, properties change hands, even within families. Mm -hmm. And who may have let you hunt last year, may not that family may not let you hunt again okay. this year. So okay. make, sure you, make sure you take care of that before you go to the field. Also a good idea to check with those adjacent landowners. If, you know, when you harvest a deer, it's not uncommon for it to, to run a hundred yards or several hundred yards and make it on someone else's property. You can't pursue that animal unless you have permission to go okay. on, on that adjacent okay. property. So okay. again, check with your adjacent landowners. Do that. Do that legwork ahead of time. Okay, it's really important to do that. A um, couple other things we run into, uh, Terry or Perry, is um, is our antlerless only permits are not valid in Guernsey County. The $15 cheap cheap deer tag, mm -hmm. the doe tags are mm -hmm. not valid here in our area. And in fact, they expired the end of November, so they weren't even valid for gun season. So if you have one, you can't use it can't here. Can't use it, okay. Uh, you can't use it anywhere now because okay. it's expired. So okay. just keep that in mind. And of course, uh, one thing you can do in our our uh, upcoming bonus gun weekend and our muzzleloader season is you can continue to hunt small game. Okay. You, you can hunt waterfowl. Okay. Um, Hunter orange requirements are, are still in, in effect. So okay. you've got to have a vest or a jacket that's colored solid hunter orange okay. or camouflage hunter orange. Okay. The, uh, the rabbit hunting vest with the orange pockets doesn't count. Okay. Um, and if you are hunting that small game, you can't have shot smaller than number four. Or you have to have shot smaller than number smaller four. Smaller than four, okay. Yeah, so double up bucks, things like that, you wouldn't be allowed to carry. Okay. But if you're hunting rabbits and you're carrying number sixes, that's perfectly legal. Okay. We've got about a minute left, so I know you wanted to wrap it up and you wanted to make sure we talk about Christmas gifts. Yeah, you know, uh, 
Uh, if you're looking for that last minute gift uh, for the person that's kind of hard to buy and if they're an outdoorsman, they're a hunter, and they mm -hmm. enjoy the outdoors, mm -hmm. uh, a gift certificate from the Division of Wildlife could be the perfect gift opportunity. I didn't know you had those available. Yeah, and to borrow the words from uh, 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 Christmas uh, Lampoon's Vacation, yeah. it's, a, it's a gift that keeps on giving <laughs> because you can use it year round. Yeah. You know, if you get a gift certificate and come February, they could buy their fishing license, their hunting licenses. In the spring, they could buy their uh, turkey permits. And of yeah. course, this fall, they could then uh, coming fall, you could do different. Was it cousin? Cousin Eddie, who said yeah, that? It was. It had to be yes. his kid. It had to be yes. Cousin so, Eddie. Uh, so, uh, if, Great stocking stuffers. It would know? be. And if you go online, you can uh, go into our, uh, your account system, uh, purchase a gift certificate, you'll print it off. You have a from and a to okay. on there and uh, give it to that person who enjoys the outdoors. Perfect gift for the outdoors person. And works about outdoors. And that's exactly right. So, Roby Williams, Guernsey County Game Warden. Hey, Merry Christmas. Thanks. Thanks and for we'll see you on. after the first of the year. Sure will. Thank all you. All right. And we're going to be back to wrap it all up right after this. Learning Jungle on Main Street, formerly Main Street School Supply, is located in downtown Cambridge, just west of the courthouse on Wheeling Avenue. They have a huge selection full of educational resources and toys to teach, as well as entertain. They feature a large inventory of gifts for children of all ages, and you just have to check out their selection of stuffed animals, puppets, games, and so much more. The Learning Jungle on Main Street, downtown Cambridge, has layaway for your convenience and is the area's only specialty toy store. A world of knowledge is waiting for you at their front door. Bundy Law Funeral Home has worked since 1924 to earn the confidence of the families they have served and continue their commitment to the community. They offer a complete range of quality services, from funerals to cremation, and honor all faiths and customs. The staff at Bundy Law understands you need to know all the available options to make the right decisions for your family. A price list is available upon request, and they invite your comparisons. You will make the right choice when you choose Bundy Law Funeral Home. Your one-stop shop for all things computer-related is ABC Technical Services. Whether it's designing a new website, website maintenance, PC repair, or over-the-phone tech support, ABC Technical Services has you covered. ABC Technical Services can set up a new network, install the latest antivirus software, and they even offer full video production and editing services, too. Give them a call at 740-432-5605 or visit them online at abctechnicalservices.com. A name you know, a name you trust. ABC Technical Services. Hey, that's going to do it for this edition of Talk of the Town. Thank you so much for watching, and thanks again to our guests, Alan Fraley and Roby Williams. A du the duet, Power Pack uh, duet. Power duet yeah. Hey, our Christmas show, we're getting exciting about it. It'll start airing uh, December 19th. That's when we're going to tape it and run through the end of the year. It's a really big show for you this year. Yeah. Also, high school basketball starts next week. Uh, Kids and Christmas will start airing, actually, as we're taping this on Tuesday this afternoon. Uh, what, what else do we have? There's, just, hair tree, I mean. there's all kind of stuff. Okay, so there's, there's plenty of holiday programming for you to enjoy as we end up the year. Right. All right, for producer, director Adam Green and Perry Bronich, we'll see you next time on Talk of the Town. Bundy Law Funeral Home has worked since 1924 to earn the confidence of the families they have served and continue their commitment to the community. They offer a complete range of quality services, from funerals to cremation, and honor all faiths and customs. The staff at Bundy Law understands you need to know all the available options to make the right decisions for your family. A price list is available upon request, and they invite your comparisons. You will make the right choice when you choose Bundy Law Funeral Home. U.S. Bank is the fifth largest bank in the country, and while being recognized nationally for their strength and stability, they continue to provide hometown service. At U.S. Bank, they provide a variety of products and services for your consumer and small business needs, such as free checking with internet banking, loans and lines of credit, and free financial planning services. At U.S. Bank, they're proud to support the growth and development of their communities by helping local business owners achieve success. Cambridge is more than just a town. This is our home. Supporting downtown Cambridge means shopping at the places we love with the people we love. For the stuff we can't get anywhere else. Food that tastes like home. And personal service from people who know your name. The money we spend here will keep our town growing. Let's all shop small for our town. 
the home we love, and the uniqueness that makes Cambridge a great place to live, work, and play. Cambridge Classic Ford in downtown Cambridge prides themselves on offering the largest inventory and the best customer service in the area. Visit their lot and experience the Classic Difference. The Classic Difference provides customers a service above and beyond what you'll find anywhere else. Their service department, body shop, and parts department strive for the best service and pricing in southeastern Ohio. Stop by the lot and browse their large selection of new and pre-owned inventory, ask about easy financing, or schedule an oil change. That's Cambridge Classic Ford in downtown Cambridge. Stop by and experience the Classic Difference for yourself.